right here. So we're gonna basically gonna use the sand, the dust from the little palm sander here and mix it with glue to fill the holes. These are a little bigger than I had hoped, but we kind of messed up here. This, this piece should have been shaved down more and at the other end, so it left too big of a gap with this one, but we'll just have to fill it. I like that this end, the side piece, uh, has two different pieces of wood, but that is going to get covered anyway by the picture frame. And then you can see all the nice um, different grains on the end here. And we're going to use the belt grander or belt sander with uh, to get this ridge off first, and then we'll fine tune it with the palm sander. So we're going to plane the picture frame for this now, and then uh, we'll do the palm sander afterwards in case there are any gaps around the perimeter um, where the picture frame is going to go. So we got both the rails for the shelf pieces. These are going to go underneath um, to make a shelf. So these will be the rails for the long side. We've got all the pieces planed to make the shelf underneath. Um, had to go through all our little pieces to find enough. We've got the end pieces ready to glue on. We've got the sides clamped right now. So next time we will clamp the end pieces on and maybe see about putting together. We've got a plane and uh, refine those two long pieces for the shelf. And I just measured the legs. I think by the time we get the height of the wheels and everything, the split part of these legs is going to be cut off because a couple of them are split. So, next time we will plane the legs and the two side rails for the shelf. But this is looking pretty nice. So we've got the end pieces clamped on and I'm sure about that space. We just planed the two rails for the shelf, and now we're going to plane the legs. Just put these through the planer once to see what they would look like. They're still pretty rough, so we'll see what they look like after putting them through a few more times. So that's those clamped on. Check them tomorrow, maybe. We've got the legs planed, and we've got to go back and do some more research on wheels. These are smaller each way than what I thought, so they might fit in the ones that have cups on the um, casters. And that will keep this from splitting any further. Mind you, we'll be cutting most of the split part off. And just for fun, we planed this big slab of oak that we've had for years. It actually looked like this, really rough with the saw cuts. In it and uh, it looks really nice, especially this knot. That's always my favorite parts. So we are back at the workshop today. Um, we had clamped these two end pieces on last time we were here, and now the f the four frame pieces are on. Now we've got to concentrate. There's a big lip here. We've got to concentrate on getting this all planed or sanded down smooth and use the sand to fill all the cracks and everything to get this top done right. We also got the wheels in the mail. All four of these um, have brakes on them which is kind of nice rather than just two. So we'll see what we can do uh, today about getting this a little bit closer to finished. I guess the trick is not to spread too, too much, eh? Yeah, well, even getting it to go down in the hole. It's quite soft. Yeah, yeah that's a good color, isn't it? So 
So this is uh, filled and we'll have to let that dry really well. And um, Chris is just cutting the one end clean on the ends of the legs. And then we have to figure out what length to cut them to. There's quite a bit of splitting um, at the ends. You can see how long this crack is. Uh, fortunately, I think that's all going to be cut off by the time we take into account the thickness of the top, the height of the wheels, and um, I think we only need uh, under 28 inches off of these legs. You can see this one is split at both ends, so hopefully we have enough. 28. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Guess we've got to keep this ugly part, eh? I think it can face in, though. Oh, yeah, we can cut some of it off. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can see where it's moving. Mm -hmm. But this one, it, oh, I thought it was a nice side. Yeah, this side, I guess, can face out. The scrap here that Chris is actually going to rip into half inch strips and we're going to we're going to add a piece to the bottom um, because these these uh, plates on the wheels are too long so these screws are on the outside of the leg so we're going to have a piece like this thickness go from the two end wheels up at each end of the cart and then the leg will go on to here and the side wheels the side will screw onto the leg and the screws in the bottom will screw into this piece and then we'll screw this block to the leg before we attach everything so we've got the legs cut to length and we actually routed I think you can see that. Just routed the really sharp corner off it. Um, it'll hold the stain better that way. And um, so these are pretty much ready to go. And we did the same thing. We routed the edge off these little pieces that are going to go in between the legs on the end of the cart.